Okay, so we're still on our production budget. Remember, it's section C. It's worth 20% and you will have 30 minutes to do it. So we've done the sales budget and we've done the production budget. Now remember, the first two, the sales and the production budget, write this down again, is based on your products. Now, once you know how many products that you're going to make, then you need your own materials. So the next few budgets are going to be about the raw materials. So I'm going to do number three and number four as one budget, just to save you time. So you do your direct materials usage budget. So what we're looking for here is, you know how many products you're going to make, right? Based on your sales and the clothing stuff that you want. I want to know how much raw materials do I need to buy so that would satisfy what you need to make. So it's the quantity of raw material needed for production. It's quantities only. So this, you don't have to work it out in euro. And again, it's done by the production manager. So then once you know how much raw materials you need, then you're gonna to have to buy them. So you're gonna have your raw materials purchases budget. And uh, this is going to be, because you're purchasing something, you need it in the quantities and you need to know how much it's gonna cost you. So this is gonna be in quantities and value. Again, it's by the production manager. Again, here, you need to take into account how much clothing stuff you want. So if it's, say, the month of May and it's the end of May, you don't want to come into your factory in June and have no raw materials there to start production. So you always need to carry some clothing stock so you're constantly in production. So I'm going to put the two of these together. Now, this is a skeleton. I'm going to be filling this in now in a minute for question one in the ordinary. So I want you to take down this blank one, first of all. So you can pause the video to take it down in a minute. Now, Remember I said to you, this is about materials. So if you look at my columns now, I don't have the products here, I put the materials. Because what I'm interested in here is how much materials I'm gonna to have to buy. So my heading here is raw material one and raw material two. So you have two raw materials in the question. So you're gonna make two products. Remember I'm making, I think it was King and Khan and the green line and the red line. So for product one, so say we're looking at the green line, I'm going to fill in the green line in a minute. Your product one, how much for the green line do you need of raw material one? And how much for the green line do you need of material two? So you get your total materials for uh, two and total materials for one. And then you do it for your second product. Again, you need to add on your clothing stock because you want to have some clothing stock of raw materials ready. So you're not wasting time, you can go into full production. You take away the stock that you already have, your opening stock. Now remember, for the honours, this figure will not be given to you. They'll give you some percentage increase or decrease in your clothing stock, and that'll be given in your introduction. And then they'll tell you how much they expect that you would pay for the raw materials, so you'll know how much you're going to spend. So you've your budgeted purchase of raw materials here. That's the very same wording here, but this is quantity, and this is euro. I'm going to put quantity there so you know. This is quantity, and this here is in euro. So first of all, just make sure you stop the video, take down the skeleton. Now we're going back to question one of the ordinary and we're going to fill it in. So uh, in this, I need material OX and EN. So the materials that I need, I need material OX and I need material EN. Now the products that I have, first product that I make, I'm just going to call it the green. So if I'm making a green train, and I look down to it, the green line train needs material OX, it will need two kilograms. So for material X, I need two kilograms. Okay, so you need to know, well, how much of this are you making? Okay, so for the green, uh, I need to go back to my notes now and get how much I'm making. You're making 5,960 units of it. Okay. Now that came from my production budget. Just write that in for yourself. So that came from my production budget. Again, I'm making 5,960 of these greens. And for each green that I make, I'm going to need three kilograms of material EN. Okay, let's look at the red line. It's too right. Now the red line, Okay, so looking at the red line, um, for the red line, I want to make 8,150 units. Now, if I want to make 8,150 units, I'm going to need some material OX, 
and some material EN. Now for the red line, the material OX that I need for each unit that I make, I need four kilograms. And for the EN, for each unit that I make, I need five kilograms. But that's probably the most, I think that's the most difficult thing filling that in. I'm just gonna go back through it again. These are the number of units that you need to make of each product. Now for each product that you make, say I'm making the red line. If I want to make a train, I need some of this raw material and I need some of this raw material. To make the red line, for each unit I need four kilograms of OX and I need five kilograms of EN. So we're going to calculate them out and see how much they give us. So in total, I need 11,920 kilograms. Now you don't have to add kilograms in, I'm just doing it to make it easier for you here. I need 32,600 kilograms. So in total for my production here, um, I need 44,520 kilograms for what I want to make. Uh, in the other one, I need 17,880 kilograms for the green line. And for the red line, I need 40,750 kilograms. So in total, I need 58,630 kilograms just for what I want to make. But we also know, need, know that we need to take into account our closing stocks. Now remember for the ordinary level, the closing stocks should be given to you. And the closing stock is 3,600. And your opening stock is 4,000. And again, we're taking away the opening stock because you don't need to buy that because you already have it. So the opening stock here is 6,000. And the closing stock is 6,300 kilograms. Okay, so I only really need that extra space there just for the calculations, and I'll go through all that again with you. So that's how many units of kilograms I need for raw material EN. Okay, so that's how much you're going to need. And they're telling you uh, that the purchase price of the raw materials, they expect this to be three euro per kilogram, and they expect this one to be 450, I think it was. 450 per kilogram. So this will cost me to buy my raw materials. That's how much it will cost me for material one. And that's how much it will cost me for material two. Okay, let's go back through this again for you. Right, when you're doing this table out, uh, this is table three and four together. I want you to kind of have four columns. Raw material, two more worth found. Leave a column here for these calculations. Then you have your raw material column, one, and then a column here for calculations, and then you have your words. Just remember, you're talking about your raw materials here. So your headings would be your raw materials. To know how much raw materials you need, you're going to have to look at product one and product two. And that's why I need these columns. And that gives me my raw materials purchases budget. And I'm going to, if you want to pause that for a few minutes, you can. And we're going to go on to the honours question one and fill that up now as well. So I'm going to get rid of these because Okay, so this is Donkey Limited, and we're on page 561, and I need to know what are their raw materials. So they have material L and material uh, U. So we're using material L, and give a good space here as well, and we're using material U. Now we know that Donkey are making two types of products. They're making a king product, and they're making a con. Okay, now we know that in the units that they're making, if you give me a minute there, I'll just check my notes. Uh, 
Okay, so King done making 25,195. And Kong, we said they were making 30,186. We need to mu multiply them by the number of units they will use. And the same over here, you're making 25,195 of King and Kong, you're making 30,186. And you need to know how many units of each material. Now you're looking at your materials here. Material L, King will use six grams, kilograms, and Kong of material L now, Kong will use eight grams, sorry, it's grams in this one. Okay, for material U, King uses five grams, and Kong uses 10 grams. Okay, so let's have a look at this here. So 25, 195, multiply by 6, 151, 170. Remember, these are grams. No harm in adding them in if you want, if you're not sure. 241, 488 grams. So the total number of grams that I need for material L is 392,658 grams. We'll do the same over here. So that's 1,295,975 grams. Now watch this and they um, on the zipper change grams and keep grams free in a few minutes. Maybe we need a calculator for that, but and let's add these together. So that's 1,597,835 grams. Okay, so just going through that again. These are the number of units that you want to make by the number of material of L for King and the number of material of L for Com. These are the number of units that you want to make for King and for Com, and you're going to multiply them by the number of unit or the number of materials needed for U and the number of materials needed for U. Okay, so we're on the honours, so the opening stocks um, are given to us, they're 12,000 and 14,500. So we've 12,000 here and we've 14,500 here. Now again, the closing stock, they said uh, all stocks are to be increased by 15%. So we want this to be 13,800 and we want this to be 16,675. Okay, so if we add these up, then you have like 392,658 plus 13,800 minus 12,000. This is probably the longest one to do. 394,458. Would you just put the units in there just to make sure you don't go wrong later? And that's 1,610,000 kilograms. Sorry now, I'm just, just checking that I've got any extra for a bit. 25, and then 5. I knew that seemed a little bit big. I just need to change this figure here for you. Okay, so uh, 125975. Now I just double checked that because it just seemed so huge compared to the other one. And I could have left my closing stocks, but I'll put them in again for you. Um, 14,500 was the opening. And remember, I want the closing stock to be 15% more, so that's 
Okay, this looks a little bit better. They shouldn't be too much different. So again, they, they kind of look very, very similar there. Now, again, around the honours, and you generally multiply by the expected price of raw materials. Now let's look here. Now I told you to watch these are grams. Very unusual that you would be buying something in grams. And it says, um, if you look down near the very, very end, the current market price of five kg, five grams of material L is 26. So you're buying these, right? Oh, I like this, sorry. Um, 5G L. So material L, you buy it as five grams bags. And the five gram bags cost 26 euro. And material, you, you're going to buy that in bags uh, of five grams as well. That's 36. And it says here, um, you can only buy a full bag. So my problem here is I can't do this here. So I'm gonna remove this and put in a little bit extra for my honors, okay? So what I want to do here is I want to find out the number of bags that I would need. Okay, so the number of bags needed. Okay, I'm going to have to divide by five here. So if I divide this by five, remember I told you they're adding something to the others to make it that little bit more difficult. Now you're going to get decimal place, but you can't get part of a bag, so you need to round up. So I'm going to need 78892 bags. Over here, again, I'm going to divide by, sorry, divide by five. So 430010, so this hopefully should um, divide. I need 86,002 bags. Okay, so that was just a little bit extra that they threw in, to be honest. And I had the price per five gram bag. And the price we have here, this is 26 euro, and this is 36 euro. So when you just watch that in the honors, they probably will put in something. Um, That'll make it that little bit more difficult. And this one here. Get two. And that's the budget time. Okay, so you can see the difference between the higher and the ordinary level question. It's all uh, very, very similar, except here where they're going to um, make you work out the number of bags that you need to buy.